In a seized BMW, now converted into a Fairfax County police car, a convertible with sirens and flashing lights. Katie Farnbacher, a crime prevention officer, has seen a rapid increase in her work over the last couple of weeks. Recently we've had in Fairfax County um, roughly 90 uh, break-ins. We've also seen that around the region, not just in Fairfax County, but in other counties. Uh, Prince William County uh, was hit with about 14 of the similar cases uh, as recently as uh, over the weekend. The rapid spate of home break-ins in Fairfax County, as well as surrounding counties, is a cause for concern for the residents in the areas. It has been Katie's job the last five years to go out into the community and work with the public on home protection. I've seen a lot of public concern about the recent burglaries uh, in our county and across Hello. the region. Hello. Peter is a Fairfax County resident who has taken up the police department on their free home security survey program, which is available to all homes in the county. We've been following the news. There's been a lot of, you know, neighborhood break-ins into residences as well as cars. And when a neighbor across the street had a break-in a couple weeks back, where burglars were trying to get into his car, which led to a police chase through the neighborhood and the robbers escaping, Peter didn't want to take any chances that the thieves might come back through the neighborhood. So he called to see what he could do to protect his family and his home. The crime prevention offices across the county have been inundated with phone calls for requests for home security surveys, as well as what they can do to uh, increase the security around their homes and their businesses and their own personal security. Along with his yellow lab, Sierra, Peter and Officer Farnbacher inspect the property and home for security flaws and opportunities to improve and add home protection measures like lighting and motion detectors. The number one thing you can do to, uh, to enhance the security of any door in your house, besides locking your doors, is actually adding a three inch screw. Officer Farnbacher sees opportunities every day for residents to make their home safer and less of a target to would-be thieves. She says there are things that people do that draw attention and ask for trouble, like open garages and little things like unkempt yards that provide hiding places in bushes. Open garage doors because they hold all of your very good things like your tools and your bicycles. And when the door is open, it's pretty much free game of anyone can walk in, take what they want, um, and leave without anyone seeing a thing. It's not uncommon for people not to realize that there's anything missing because that is what their, that's where their storage is. And until they need it, they don't necessarily know that it's missing. And we came upon a garage with tools and many things that could easily be taken without drawing any attention. And how did Peter do on his home security survey? The number one thing that we deal with is GPS thefts, electronics, anything that is of value inside a car. If the car doors are unlocked or even sometimes if they're locked, they'll break a window. I see that you have your laptop in your car and your car doors are open. It is often the little things which Farnbacher says that residents can remember to do that will greatly increase their families, homes, and property safety. Of the 90 recent larcenies, many are from car doors that are left open. Because we, have a, we are plagued with unlocked car doors, and uh, typically what happens is the bad guy just goes and flips door knobs, door handles on cars until they find open ones. Um, in, a, in a condo complex, we had a series of cars that were unlocked that were entered. Um, they got the crackers out of the first car, they ate them in the second car, and we found the wrapper in the third car. As the Fairfax yeah, County police investigator searched for the perpetrators that's right. of the robberies, uh, that's like free store. and there is yeah. some suspicion <laughs> that it may be the same people, there are many things that residents can do to improve their safety, and Peter's going to make those changes that were suggested. So I can actually get screws that go deeper into the depth of the studs, and that'll reinforce the doors. Peter also did a few things that impressed Officer Farnbacher like placing a 2 by 4 in a sliding door, which prevents the door from sliding, even if the lock is tampered with. These are preventative measures, and Officer Farnbacher is resolute about home protection. Truthfully, if a bad guy wants to get in, they're going to get in. Are there things that you can do to make it harder for that to happen? Absolutely. Locking doors, making sure that um, old basement doors can be replaced with new basement doors, things like that to enhance the security of the home can absolutely be done to help prevent this. Peter's being proactive with the recent robberies in the neighborhood in mind, but he's not in a panic. Well, I'm not worried. Uh, statistically, you know, it, it, something can happen, but I'm not worried. Uh, I can take uh, positive efforts. Get the ball. Good girl.